here we are back at our advanced oil rig this is video number six we have a lot of good feedback from people thank you everyone for watching and uh let's get going so what i did is i just did a couple of minor changes so it starts to take shape the building especially so if you see here what i've done is i went ahead and made this kind of building block or block of buildings right now they're empty but what is what they're going to be is offices living spaces bedrooms and that type of thing i will put a helicopter with the helicopter spawning on the roof down here i'm probably gonna close this off so it's not open or at least not fully open put an electrical room i know the battery storage this electric is just going to be 100 all the time but i do like a bit of realism so an electrical room and over here probably an equipment room and a uh, medical medical bay if someone gets injured so we've done that i've expanded the um control room a little bit and i will i may put some desks back here or whatever and as you can see this one's empty this is probably going to be the cruise quarters and i'm probably going to have an elevator going up and most likely add one more floor above there i got rid of the non-functional distillation so we'll get to that in a second and then i've started on the catwalks so you can see this first catwalk gets you up to the top of the slurry filters where you could um check them and there's valves to close the um, water if you want and on the bottom i'll put valves to close the uh, slurry itself and then if you climb up these ladders you could start climbing up to the very top of the tower all the way to this area where we have the aircraft warning lights i'm not quite sure what we'll put up here but there's a little pad for activities so that's the extent of what i've done so far obviously the ladders don't have an internal uh railing so the worst case is if you fall through you hopefully don't fall like that hopefully you just fall onto the next um the next set of stairs and not all the way down but i've been on coal mines i've been at the oil sands so personally i've been on all these places as an engineer and i will tell you you have to wear a hard hat when you go on these types of things you have to wear proper equipment in this case you don't need a tie off which in real life you tie yourself off so if you fall but because it's a closed system at least for the most part you don't need a tie off but for that reason um you whenever you're walking in industrial type places you have to be cautious and lots of workplace injuries happen unfortunately if people aren't cautious so i also put some framing around this and there just for the added realism obviously everything is going to get colored nicely but for now this is just the basic shape and i love it i have to say i'm really impressed with how it's looking so far um so with that all said i do have some great information from some of uh my supporters dingus games sir tbf and koopa lad have given me some information uh mainly that i was using the heaters wrong the coolant line is the actual um oil which is very strange that's not the right word at all but here we are so what i'm gonna do in this case because i have this building block that i really want to put we do have some free space back here so i may use that in the future i'm not quite sure but for now let's just make a distillation chamber in this corner here now for the most part i do like the style of this um this one and we have a height of let's see if we pull this down 7.5 meters now i was told that we need to go actually from 7 meters to 25 is diesel and anything higher than 26 meters is the jet fuel so to get a feel for how much 26 meters is that's like pretty much to the top of this tower so that's a huge uh tall structure that we're gonna have to put that's pretty much going to the top of this um obviously it would have been nice to actually piggyback it on this structure make it ride like just put the, the use this framing as the framing for that 
once we have two tall structures, like, I mean, I'm a structure engineer, so I instantly start to think stability. Now I know that's not a big factor in Stormworks, but regardless, um, and to try to be realistic, I, I will have to brace it back somehow. So let's begin. What we know is that our uh, slurry in water area is like way too big for sure. We definitely don't need this much space for it, but just for um, to not r reduce it, like I don't think there's a need to reduce it. This is our water valve. We'll put a slurry valve down here. And we'll keep it open for now, obviously, if you have some issues on site. The nice thing is you can get a technician in there to close the valve if you want to close one of the systems if it's leaking or something. So we have that in here. And just a little bit of extra play feature. So we're back with our distillation reservoir. And in fact, we have to collect the actual um, crude or the stuff we pump out. We got to collect it somewhere as well. And my apologies, I just reread. Koopa LAD said that tw 7 to 25 blocks is diesel and more than 26 blocks is jet. So that makes it much nicer. So that's 28 blocks. So we don't have to go to the top of this. I was worried it would be like a tall skinny tower that just doesn't look good but we're good we now know that this size of um, vessel is what we need and by vessel I'm referring to like a watertight container in the industry sometimes we call call these types of things vessels not a boat don't worry not not a, a, a ship now that kind of works kind of not I do want to have a bit of room to walk around a little more freely. Yeah, so that's, I mean, you can squeeze through down here and then over here you're kind of tight. No, I don't like it. I want to make something a bit more, a bit better. And we can fix this right away while we're here. I do like this side, obviously that's a little too narrow, but let's start with that width or dimension and then fix it to what or repurpose it to what we need. So that's only one side and I'm going to put it up here for now. Let's hollow it out. We don't need all this stuff in here and hopefully this test works. I'm going to be so happy if we actually start with the distillation process properly because that means we're absolutely on the right track and just um, can then get to the non-technical stuff of the build like the helicopter pad and all that other fun stuff that I know you guys are all looking forward to. And I am, I will admit. One thing I'm kind of undecided is this, I had to make this otherwise it like, there's a hole here, but I don't need to make it everywhere. Like it could technically start here. So I may clean up a bit of the space and just make that tank a little more freestanding, but, or make this go to the very end. I'm not decided yet, or I have not decided yet would be the proper English. That's the one thing you'll learn about engineers. We may be smart with math and structures, but a lot of a lot of people in the industry are not very good with talking and are a little awkward. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Let's duplicate it now and rotate it to the side and see how to how to if we could make like Ideally, this will be a square reservoir and then we can 
either make two of them or something like that. Like it'd be nice if one of them is purely for storage of the crude and then another one is the distillation tower. I think that'd be the nicest system because then you can actually extract um, the crude oil or the, I don't, see, I don't know if it's crude oil. That maybe some, uh, someone can tell me in the comments. Whatever we pull out of the ground, is that considered crude or is that considered something like a slurry mixture with like oil or whatever? I mean, is it ready to put onto a truck as it is and you don't have to actually distill it at all and you could sell it? Which I think so because I couldn't find a way to separate it after the fact. But I may be mistaken and maybe it isn't crude. But if it is, if it is crude, that makes things a little simpler because then this storage tank, you could plug, put a truck right down here and fill it right up with, with the stuff. You don't have to distill it if you do, if you don't want. Hopefully that's enough clearance to get behind. I mean, I guess you could come on the other side of the stairs too. So that's here. And then it would be nice to have one more tank. Hmm, even that we could do probably. Kind of uses the same frame distillation now in here we'd have to have the pump heating up this stuff and then this is where you'd actually end up with half of it to be your jet fuel and half of it to be your um uh, diesel and then see what i'd even like to do maybe is just have a symmetrical system here like an overflow system may as well we have the space we have the the model meaning the actual reservoir oops there we go so this is all going to be very interesting to color after the fact i mean it'll take me some time but i do like to just work in in white until until it's how I want it to be and then it'll be easier to add the helicopter pad and whatever but these things look good I don't want to go too too high and um, what what I may also have is uh, these guys here may not even be the distillation I mean maybe I, I either I could mirror this setup depending on what I make or they'll be just uh, overflow crude tanks over there I think this looks pretty good actually and they're in the same line as the massive one here perfect yeah so I, I what i was even thinking was this pump just has a hose and then you could either plug your hose into this directly or run your hose over to this one or have like kind of a line um meaning over here you have the hose holes and then depending on where you plug in your uh hose coming out of the out of the uh, pump is where which tank it goes to but I, I'll get to that in a bit let's first actually determine if if this uh, system works I really am hopeful I would love it to work I would love for it to work so let's see anyways let's pull this oops no we got to go in between so we got to go one more over and then down yeah. So the sim the system should be way simpler now because what we should have is literally just a bunch of the heaters within physically within here that are heating up our oil. The one thing I don't know, so now we have a, have it we're p pumping uh right into this tall chamber and this wall is common with oops it's kind of nope it's not common it's literally uh, I mean they're individual which makes <laughs> it looks realistic in there but that doesn't help us at all so I will actually sort of um, rework this to not have any of this but rather just be two 
chambers that are attached even though from the outside they may look like separate chambers uh, we'll keep those there it's fine and down there we'll keep those this one we will move recolor this for simplicity so I've uh, gotten through one hole and now we have that so we just need to fill in these little gaps and we could easily do that with blocks so then they're one closed off uh, chamber even though from the outside it'll look like they're not which works for me I like I like how it looks ah, whatever let's just drag that all the way down it's not let's not complicate things here close that off and pull this all the way to the top here there and same thing here so from the outside it'll still look pretty cool like they're two individual chambers even though they're actually one open chamber for now so this one is uh gonna fill with the oil and let's check that we're the right height so it said anywhere between 7 and 25 how, how tall is this right now it's 26 so this is too short we will need to and which is not bad either we can double the height of these i think if we just put another set of these on top not only will it increase our physical uh, storage capacity it'll look nice i don't think it'll look too out of place we just have to make sure that that bottom part is uh deleted like all these things so that and in fact i'll do what i did with the sides when i have it come into the same location i think it'll look cleaner if it's just the one one frame like that and then here we need to do what we did for this one which i could just take a copy and paste of i know this is aesthetics and i apologize if people are bored when i'm showing this type of thing but i'm trying to showcase the build as well as being informative okay and then we could ditch this and likewise here and here and then puncture through that and that and that and that there we go so we're gonna do the same thing which we did for the other or the other joining where we had this filled in and here we're gonna do the same so now we just have two massive or it looks like we have four large um, containers or four large uh, vessels fluid vessels um, with with each other and it's a little bit of a fun detail there that looks good yeah i think that looks really good actually and then on the other side we could see if we want to be symmetrical and put it make it high or if we're just going to leave this as a pure storage tank for any excess crude but this tower not with this pipe of course this tower seems or is really nice for our needs we will put dials and things but for now let's just have this so we pump it into here we will have a wall going up all the way so we will actually have two large chambers for now and then the center of this will become our separation of jet fuel up here and diesel fuel down here now i don't know if they're produced in equal quantities like i don't know if 100 liters of crude produces 50 50 jet and oil i don't know that but for now i will just um work under the assumption that we can have equal amounts and then let's just put our 
this uh, distillation process here. And it, no one commented whether or not we need pumps or not, so I will... <laughs> hmm. We'll see how fast it heats up is really the question. Once I put all the, once I put all the uh, heaters, because how fast it heats up will dictate whether or not we want to um, experiment with needing pumps or needing other types of things. But let's just do this and close it off. So we, we've sealed it off. Will it just drip? Maybe. And it'll fill this chamber so that one is here and then we will have the exact same thing but in another height or at another height oh, i made it real high that's fine it'll just be more crude collects here oh and actually those storage tanks that i had on the other side you then could decide whether you want to put um, the process stuff there if you want to pump it in or if you want to pump in crude. Like, I'm, I'm going to leave it fully um, up to you or me, whoever is uh, running the show, whether they want to make it uh, what type of what type of thing. Or what type of fluid or pro uh, 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 what type of product they want to put over there. Okay, there we go. So here we have jet, here we have diesel, and then yeah, I'm gonna put cables. You could plug in different things. It's fully customizable. Probably just to max efficiency, I think it'll be worth it to put these very tall ones on both sides, but I do like the symmetry. Like, I, I mean, the unsymmetrical feel, you have a tall thing, a short thing, and this, like the overall industrial look. Regardless, this is where we collect our crude. This is where we collect this stuff. Lastly, we need those um, furnaces. So we have, uh, we need furnaces and we need, I read like five of them, someone had said. So let's just thank you very much for the comments, guys. Again, um, it said coolant in, coolant out. That's literally it. So do I need pump pumps or do I just put this like if it's just this that's super simple I could put fill this whole thing up with this um, if we have an actual procedure I think I think it'd be worthwhile to pump it to be honest so this is coolant in so let's put a pump that's also in so we have to have that black one go down There we go. Black one's going down. That's fluid out. No, something's wrong. Fluid in or coolant in, meaning this also has to be in. What am I talking about? There we go. In and in. And then this one here is out. So it's pushing it through this, this system. Now that is super much easier than what I originally had which was not great. Okay, we could even do something like that for efficiency. Can we fit one more? Probably not. And then if we put it there, it's obviously gonna clash through our wall. So let's go and bring this all down. We could bring it down to the floor. like that and this one here extend it I don't know where that little oh I didn't have one the vent and let's pull this down one more okay cool that's there that one's there I'll put a vent there we'll try to get one more here probably need a filter on this because I don't want to be putting air through here so that may be one thing that I could actually optimize here 
and this is the in, uh, inlet so um, that may be a use of their uh, what that may be why they've given us this new call it uh, um, filter there we go fluid in and then we'll put the filter here now it's kind of yeah it may be nicer if we do this so filter fluid filter I only want to put the uh, liquids through here so whatever the liquid is and not the gas and then I want my pump and of course we're gonna be too um, short to just fit that all in one go but whatever we'll make it go down and this is our inlet and this should also be in nope I flipped it always good to check stuff like that because how silly would it be to have a system not working there coolant in all right and this is also coolant in or fluid in and we'll aim it downwards here so it's coming in going through there and popping out here okay let's keep going so we have one and we'll just replicate this uh, system a couple times just like this one more there we go that's one let's see if it'll fit between my little oh perfect it does two join them to the building and let's go higher I think someone said five on the on the on the comments so may as well make it five we clearly have enough space so that's four and that's five so the comment actually said three or four working together I'm not sure if in sequence or separate like this uh, and also there's one uh, someone saying that we have um, or we are gonna produce oil at the very bottom crude and then diesel and whatever but that doesn't sort of match with what I read on the uh, actual product for the distillation no, not the distillation, on the actual Stormworks' update, they themselves said that it'll produce the um, two things from the filter. So I'm not sure, but let's uh, add dials here. This time, we are not going to mess up the uh, fluid meters inside. That was my problem that I messed up so we have one two and in this one three okay cool so the first one will be the uh, crude oil or whatever this is then the diesel and then the top one is jet crude oil or whatever pumps out of the ground diesel and jet fuel okay we need to add power to everything obviously and we have to add a button for the pumps and the heaters I will have a toggle here but it'll be nicer within my uh, control center once we confirm that this is all working Okay, that's good we need electric and what we have is this one and this pump is turned on when we turn on our uh, pump jack mechanism but that's fine obviously the heating will be its own thing so civil slurry I forgot if I made one for the distillation I did and it's empty so we'll just steal that and connect all this I'm really hoping, I mean, it doesn't have to go super fast, but like I said yesterday, three hours passed, I couldn't build anything, so I was doing other stuff and came back and alas, it still didn't work. 
But now let's see if this does work. Okay, we'll clamp things in. We'll start to pump. We'll clamp it here too. Yeah, it's down deep enough, but it's not working. Oh, and the pump jack. Oh, I'm a dummy. There's obviously, that one's not connected. This is connected, my goodness, man. Okay, we are filling up with crude in this first chamber. We press on this and we wait. Now we're getting, I hear the sound, I hear the, uh, I hear that it's uh, warming up, but we don't have a thermometer. So regardless, we can't even tell where we're at. So this process is already bust. So that was silly that we forgot that. And I also need to connect this one to this uh, dial, crude level. But more importantly, the, um, the temperature gauge. Now what I'm gonna do just for our little test is we have five different heaters in sequence. So I want to make sure that each one of them, first of all, to see that they are in fact all at the same temperature, just because I don't know, um, like if as it rises, if it'll get warmer, or um, if it'll require less heat to rise and all that stuff, like what happens in uh, real life. And then we're going to need our temperature probe. What is, how does it work? So yeah, the temperature sensor outputs a current temperature if in an enclosed space, if not, it enclose, it's uh, the ambient. So enclosed space is fine. We're gonna put it in here and put this one to be connected to that dial. So this way at least we'll see exactly what is going on. Now that everything's in, now we could start pumping the crude or pumping out of the ground once these things are attached. Okay, there we go. It's uh, it's rising, perfect. I'd be curious if we speed that up, like the actual, um, the actual uh, mechanism, speed it up to make it go a little faster, how that's gonna look. Okay, now let's turn this on and let's watch our dials. So everything's identical. This is lagging a bit, so this is 200, this is 130, whatever. We're at 300. Oh, this is so good. Okay, come on. Let's do this. 300. It's like falling back a little. This is steadily increasing. This is falling back. Maybe because we're putting in new oil. That's cold. So it may work that way. But it's slowly catching up. Yes. Almost 300. I know it's like watching paint dry for you guys, but I'm excited here. Once we reach 300, whether it's gonna start to fill in our chambers or not. Oh, almost there. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's going in a cycle. As we pump in the new fresh uh, crude, it instantly uh, adds cold uh, water or cold fluid to this system. We definitely have enough now, so if we don't in five seconds here, I'm just going to turn off the pump jack and let us fill this chamber. So clearly we're struggling to just reach that, uh, oh my goodness, we're so close. Okay, let's turn off the pump jack and let just that fluid heat up. We're past it, we're past 300. Now we're not pumping the uh, fluids into, oh, 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 yo, look at this. How cool is that? Wow, oh my goodness. 
That is so cool. And they're going equal, so we know... And all of these are the same temperature, so we found out two things, but man! Very slow process. Very cool, though. I'd be very curious if we have more than... Like, if we had a sixth heater, whether it'll let us pump in while it uh, distills. We were just beneath that um, that mark because we kept adding more co more cold uh, cold oil. But see now we're dropping back down. So I think f five of them can't keep up, but maybe a sixth one will let us keep up. I mean, yeah, it's slowly dropping. With every pump, it drops some more, so it can't quite keep up with it uh, at this rate. But we did it! Oh my goodness, I'm so stoked. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys for all the help. Um, that is super, super exciting. Oh man, now that means we get to make the rest of the base. So cool. Okay, this, this update, so I was telling you, and it, it's so funny, that I was like, oh, I probably may not uh, work on it too much. I do this stuff in real life and whatever. But the more I've been playing around with it, the more this, like, kind of running my own industrial complex appeals to me. Like, I just find it so, like, interesting that one can actually run their own uh, oil drill and make all these systems and stuff. So, thank you for for helping me out and for uh, making me realize my, my actual joy that I get with doing this stuff. So, yeah, totally. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more um, behind the scenes of this oil oil drill as I uh, continue working on it and um, yeah happy stormworksing